Be honest with me for a second. How often do you publish a blog post and it fall completely flat? I'm talking about you don't get any likes, you don't get any comments, you don't get any engagement. You publish this piece of content expecting that somebody would engage with it, somebody would interact with you, but in reality, it falls flat. Look, I've been there. You create something, you put a bunch of work in, you do the research, you find the right images, you do all of the extra stuff that you have to do to create an asset or a piece of content that you think is going to kind of blow up the world that everybody's going to get excited by. But in reality, when you press publish, all you hear is crickets. You might get one like, but it's from your wife, it's from your spouse, it's from your partner, it's from your boyfriend, it's from your girlfriend. We've all been there. We've all put in that time early on to create something of value, but be met with crickets. But it doesn't have to be that way. Look, I've been there. I've written a blog post, I've published it, I think I'm gonna generate a bunch of leads, I'm gonna generate a lot of traffic, but I'm met with silence. It made me think, oh, does nobody like this content? I know that what I'm creating is of value, but why isn't anybody engaging with it? And I realized that there was two key factors that led to that result. One, the amount of noise, the amount of noise that is out there in the web today, and two, the fact that we were focusing on the creation rather than the distribution. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you why both the noise and the distribution are two of the most underrated but important factors to consider when your content is falling flat. Eric Schmidt, the CEO of Google, once said that we create as much content, as much information, as much noise as we did between the beginning of mankind in 2003. That's a lot of content and it makes complete sense. I mean, think about it, you're consuming content right now. If you comment on this video, which I recommend you do, you are creating content, you're creating information, you're adding data and noise to the world. If you are taking a snap, if you're on your phone texting, while you see this video, while you're watching it, you are creating more information. We are creators by nature because of these simple devices. These devices have made all of us contributors to the noise. We're taking photos, we're taking videos, we're taking snaps, we're taking Instagram posts and stories, and we're sharing all of this content. When you look at it, when you think about all of this content, it's easy to become overwhelmed. So when you press publish and you're trying to get your name out there, you're trying to get your stories in front of the right people, you have to recognize that you're not just competing with the other person who is creating content on that topic, you're competing with the cat photos, you're competing with the recipes, you're competing with the blog posts, you're competing with the president, you're competing with the Kardashians, you're competing with anybody who is trying to get your attention. So it has never been a harder time to be a creator, but it's also never been an easier time to be a creator, if you know what I mean. The second challenge that people kind of overlook is the importance of distribution. Now, don't get me wrong, I think that content is very important, but marketers and creators have screamed at the top of their lungs for far too long that content is king. Crown content, content is king. We've embraced this concept, shout out to Wu-Tang for this acronym, but we believed at the bottom of our hearts in this philosophy of cream. Cream stands for content rules everything around me. And it's this belief and this th thinking that has resulted in people just trying to constantly create content without actually thinking about how important it is to get that content in front of the right people. I believe in a new acronym. It's no longer cream, it's more about the dream. And the dream is distribution rules everything around me. You need to invest just as much time as you do creating your content, as you do distributing your content. Let me say that again. You have to invest as much time distributing your content as you do creating your content. You don't just publish a blog post, press publish, walk away, and it's done. No, it doesn't work that way. You have to look for opportunities to send your content via email, via Twitter, via Facebook. You have to put up an Instagram post announcing it. You have to put up a video announcing that you've launched this new blog post and sharing that on LinkedIn. You have to share your content in every channel that you can to ensure that you're reaching the right people. Otherwise, you're gonna get lost in that noise and while everybody else is investing in that distribution and you're just investing in creation, you're gonna miss out. Once you realize that distribution is just as important as creating content, you start to look at the world a little bit differently. You start to realize that this is something that a lot of the media giants have been able to leverage and truly use to kind of spread their stories early on in a more effective way. This is why sites like BuzzFeed and Upworthy uh, and even the New York Times have been able to be so successful in the last few years because they had a fundamental shift 
in the way that they were thinking about content. You see, for years, newspapers had distribution. They would automatically have any story, any piece of content that they published show up at your door. But with the rise of the internet, they started to lose subscribers. People no longer wanted papers physically delivered to their front door. So as a result, they were losing a distribution channel that allowed them to differentiate themselves from the internet. But today, the distribution channels are social media. The distribution channels are your email list. The distribution channel is that inbox access that you have if you've established a relationship via email with influencers, with bloggers, with other colleagues, in your industry. That is your distribution channel that you need to leverage. So there you have it. At the end of the day, the reason why your content is probably falling flat is because of two key insights. One, there's a lot of noise out there, right? There is a lot of content that you're competing with. There's a lot of people creating stories on the topics that you're probably creating content on. So it's on you to understand what people actually want on the other end of the computer screen and ensure that the content that you're creating lines up with that. The next step is to ensure that you're distributing that content effectively because it's never been harder to stand out from that noise and you have to invest in distribution if you wanna stand out. And the way that you do that is by leveraging various channels, various communities, various networks, and ensuring that the audience on the other end not only finds your content valuable, but they can find it to begin with. And if your blog posts aren't generating tons of traffic, I want you to recognize that this is a common trait. This is a common thing that happens with tons and tons of creators. Those early days are not going to be lollipops and sunshine. It's going to take some hard work. It's going to take a little bit of grind and it's going to take a commitment to not only creating good content, but also distributing that content effectively. So I really hope that you are able to take some great insights from this video. Please hit that big old subscribe button and let me know in the comments if there's any tactics or ideas that you have that I didn't cover in this video that are probably worth sharing with the rest of the audience who is listening to this video. Please comment. I'd love to hear what you think um, and I'd love to hear your take on content distribution and also on the noise. Don't forget I've also included in this video an offer for free. You can download 85 of my content marketing distribution tips completely for free. Just click the link right over here. Uh, you'll definitely find value in this asset. It highlights everything that you need to know to create and distribute your content on Facebook. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, you name it, I cover it, and it's yours for free. Thank you so much for listening. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you next time.